What is the role of a notary public here in the state of Florida? On this episode of Title Tuesdays. Hey everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your Title King. A lot of times we get a question when it comes to talking about the person that is notarizing the documents for a closing. Who are they? Do they work for the title company? Do they work for a bank? Do they work for a closing company? And what is their role in the transaction? As you know from previous videos, we talked about our online e-notarization right now that we're able to offer our clients. There are certain circumstances where we can do a fully automated online closing. We can e-sign, e-notarize, and e-record documents here in the state of Florida, and it just depends with certain criteria for each closing. But who is the notary? What is their job? Well, here in the state of Florida, notaries have to go through a four-hour training education, and they apply to get their notary stamp, and they have to follow certain laws. They need to be able to verify the identification of the person that is signing. They need to look at the identification, inspect the identification. What type of identifications are used? We get people that walk into a closing with their library card. Yes, those do still exist. Does that work? No, that doesn't. It needs to be a government issued photo identification. That would be an identification card or a driver's license or a passport. Okay, those are two types of government IDs. There are some other types of military IDs that are acceptable, but the two main ones that people come in with are either their driver's license or their passport. Do you need one or do you need two? That's the preference of the companies that are doing the notarization. Sometimes they want to verify a second form of identification or even sometimes there's a lender. If you're a buyer and you're getting a loan, sometimes the lender may want two forms of identification. Sometimes we can use a non-governmental issued ID for the second one. So what do we do at the closing? We verify your identification to make sure you are who you say you are. Can a notary be done remotely? Can a notary be done via fax? If I fax you a document and have you sign it and then you send me back the original, can I notarize those documents? Absolutely not. And there are people that do it all of the time. The notary law states I have to physically witness you signing that document. And you all know the, the warranty deeds here in the state of Florida have a two witness requirement plus a notary. And as you know, that notary can be one of the witnesses. So you do not need three additional people at the closing table. Two people will work. The notary will sign first as the notary and they will sign second as the witness and they sign in both spots. They cannot only sign in the notary section and think we use it as the witness. They need to actually sign in both places when they're acting as, as a person of, of witnessing you and, and watching you sign these documents. They will make a photocopy of your photo identification so they have a record of it. The notaries need to keep a record of it, of who they signed and what they signed for, so if it were to ever come back, you could have a problem. Now, you all remember my famous NBC story uh, where we caught the guy, home, the home stealing scam? Those were fraudulent notaries. That was basically this individual uh, worked with the notary and the notar uh, notarized person was signing the document for him on behalf and it was all fraudulent. So you do have to be careful where you get documents notarized. If you go into your local bank, sometimes it could take, they could tell you come back in an hour, come back in four hours, come back on Saturday to get documents notarized. You're always welcome as a customer service offer for you to stop into our office, we'll be happy. One of our 12 notaries here in the office will always be happy to verify your identification and notarize a document for you free of charge. We're happy to do it. Uh, it's a service that we will offer you if you are unable to get it done at your local bank or somewhere else. So I hope you learned something new about the job and the role and responsibility of the notary here because it's very important. A lot of people do not understand. They think the person doing the closing is the notary and they may or may not be. You may have to take your documents somewhere else to get them notarized. So if you learned something new today, give me a thumbs up. Maybe if you have your notary, leave me a comment, maybe a story about uh, an interesting story you had while you were notarizing someone's documents. I always love hearing stories about what you're doing out in the market there. So it's just things we can share with other people about things that are good and the bad of things that may happen out there when people are using their, their notary license. 
So thanks for watching Title Tuesdays. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like below, maybe give me a comment, share on social media. As always, this is Kevin Thatcher signing off, and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.